It's been 100 days, 100 uh, days since October 7th, but here in Kibbutz near Oz, time is standing still. You can still find the remnants of the paradise it used to be, but more than all else, of the burning hell it had become. And joining us uh, now, uh, Irit Lav, residents mm -hmm. of, of Kibbutz near Oz, mm -hmm. a kibbutznik. <laughs> Um, where where are we? What are we seeing here? Uh, this is uh, the house of Nili Margalit uh, and uh, Tamar Kedem Simantov. Uh, Nili Margalit was um, uh, kidnapped, abducted, and she was released some 50 days ago. Um, and uh, Tamar Kedem Simantov and Johnny Simantov, with the three children, were murdered on October 7th. A family that was completely erased. Yes, not only them, uh, Johnny's mother, Carol, also. Six members of one family, grandmother, parents, and little children. All completely murdered. erased. Yes. Let's try to uh, get a clearer sense of, of what happened here. Even 100 days later, it is still impossible to understand minute by minute what exactly happened. But you woke up on a Saturday morning mm -hmm. in your beloved home to what? Um, we had the color red uh, missile alert. We ran uh, in our pajamas, jumped out of bed. Uh, we have 10 seconds to run to shelter. We did, me and my daughter, um, closed the door. Another missile alert. Um, my daughter ran out to get the dog in, grabbed luckily my cell phone, and we were there for 11 and a half hours. Two minutes later, after that, those first alarms, uh, constant automatic weapon and missiles, um, grenades, RPGs. Uh, we knew that the terrorists are uh, attacking the kibbutz. They were roaming the, the, those little pa paths here between the houses where kids hundreds, used to... Hundreds. Hundreds of terrorists. Between three and four hundred uh, terrorists uh, invaded the kibbutz. Uh, and there was constant automatic weapon shooting 6.35 a.m. until 4 in the afternoon. And we are... Helplessly trying to keep the doors closed uh, because we knew that they're going door to door, door to door, killing every single one of you, protecting their yes, own, own house. Doors. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. And when did you realize that every single house here was going through the same? Uh, very early in the morning, seven-ish. Um, people started texting in the kibbutz's uh, messaging system. People started uh, writing. They're attacking our house. They're burning our house. I'm injured. Uh, I'm going to die, please help, please help, from all corners of the kibbutz. So, and of course we hear, da -da 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 it's very clear, it's very obvious. And the read one in four, one in four, no matter how many times I'm repeating this number in my head, one in four kibbutz members were killed. Either killed or kidnapped, yeah. There were 417 people, including babies and children and um, elderly people, uh, living that day uh, in the kibbutz. Uh, and 117 were either murdered or kidnapped. So it's more than one of four. And Dirit, you know, we're standing here talking and you're explaining very clearly what happened here, and this is essentially what you've been doing since October 7th. For the past 100 days, this is what you've been doing, showing people what happened. Yes, I want the world to know. Uh, it's very important because it's unimaginable. I think even some in movies you don't see such atrocities, such violence and hatred and, you know, kidnapping babies, killing a whole family. This is not something you even don't see in movies. But after explaining that time and time again for 100 days, do you understand what happened here? Do you no. realize? No, it's hard to even fathom. I, I, many times I think to myself, did I just imagine this? Maybe it's, it didn't really happen. Uh, i hoping, hoping, but I know, of course I know it happened wake up from this nightmare. Yes. No, yeah. neither one of us is able yeah. to wake up. It's terrible. Irit Lav, thank you very much. May we meet here again in 100 days and start talking about what will become of Niroz and not what yeah. we've lost. It's thank hard you. to imagine. <laughs>